What's up guys, Chandra here with Rise Magic. This past Saturday we released Card Street ASMR 11 with the shield playing cards. You guys freaking love these decks that open up like this at origami style and the most common comment we get is where can I get them? Well, that's why I released that video on Saturday, the brand new shield one. They were out for three days before they sold out. So, Kevin Yu, he had an inkling, he had a feeling, he had a sense that that might happen. This was the shield deck and they're also releasing this arrow deck tomorrow, Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm trying to do you guys a favor here and let you know about this ahead of time, show you these decks because I know how badly you guys want them. I know these Car Street ASMR videos have gone viral in the past, but for this video, I wanted to maybe do some Car Street ASMR with Grant behind the camera and myself, but I want to open up, unbox the deck in front of you guys so you can see what it's actually like with some commentary behind it. And then obviously we'll do some Car Street ASMR too. So the Shield deck was the purple one that was just released and this is the Arrow deck, so you know, Pull it back. So here you have it, the Arrow deck, okay? Arrow, Apollo. The orange reminds me a lot about the Trident deck, which we are giving away. There's two weeks left in that giveaway, so if you go to the Karshi ASMR level with the Shield deck, you'll see it's very easy to enter when the Trident deck. So this, it's a little bit more of a red tint than the orange Trident deck, but as you can see, Similar design, just kind of a different theme. Now, as you guys know, I struggle big time with opening up the cellophane, so we'll give it a shot right now, and we'll see what's inside. Perfect success right there. Really a 10 out of 10 if you ask me. The money shot. Oh, whatever. Now, I will say, real quick behind the scenes for the ASMR videos, if you were to watch the bloopers for those or just watch it uncut, I try to open the box perfectly like 20 times in a row to try and get them to like synchronize, like both sides open equally, but it's actually really difficult to do. So this is my actual first time opening it. Yeah, let's see the right side went first and left side, but wow. Absolutely incredible. The design in this is really, really special. In fact, what's impressive is that the first deck, in fact, I'll grab it really quick. It's the uh, deck display here it has to be all rise playing cards. All other decks were put away, but I do really want to show you guys this deck. Here we go. Where are they? The first iteration of this sort of deck design or box design, what they had was this cap, right? So this one's Esther 2018. So you, you pop it open like that, and then it slides open like that. And the cardboard on this is a lot thinner, a lot more fragile than the one we have right now. But it just kind of stays like that, and when you close it, like it doesn't really stay closed on its own. So you have to press it closed and then put the cap. I do like how the cap looks visually, but what's really cool about the new ones is that the cardboard's a lot thicker. Obviously I can't really show it on camera, but there's magnets in here. So see where it says arrow up top? When you pop it open, you see it right there. There's magnets on each side and they link together so when you close them, you hear that click. It's like a full mechanism right there. Very, very cool stuff. So it completely eliminates the need for that cap and keeps it all its own plateau here of smoothness. But you still get that 3D pop, right like that on both sides. And as you can see, it's red, but there's definitely an orange tint to it. Now, when you slide out the cards inside, you'll see that I always put in the thumbnail this shot right here. They put a card right here. That's the same material as the box. So you can see through kind of like that, those holes right there, and it matches. And when you pull it out, obviously, like I said, this closes with the magnets. Nice little click. And then you can take this one card off. It's like a cardboard card and then you have the actual deck itself, which is just a normal United States playing card company, standard quality deck, but it's all black. You can see the red, and then this is actually wrapped in cellophane as well, and this is actually the one I really, really struggle opening at times. You usually need a knife for this. But it reads, Apollo, embodiment of hope, fueled by the sun. One of the 12 Olympians, supreme god of the sun. So we have some Greek mythology, uh, don't quote me on that, I am not an expert, but 
some some fantasy lore behind this deck. And then arrows on the Ace of Spades, Apollo. Fun fact, one of our most popular videos on this channel or most memeable videos on this channel is how to open up and break in a deck of playing cards. It's actually where the sniff originated, talking about the new deck smell, but- How exactly do you go about sniffing this type of deck? Yeah, this type of deck is a little bit different because there's like a, a second layer. Like they really, they really sealed in all the freshness, all the, all the good stuff. Let me see if I can actually open it though. Goodness gracious me, oh my. All right, there we go. But the most difficult part about these Car Street ASMR videos that we've done in the past is that once you pop open a deck and it's brand new, one second. We'll just cut this part out. Um, anyway, we'll start back up right here. Bring it up. We'll start right here. So now the deck's so now the deck's open. What I was saying is that when a deck is brand new like this, it's very, very slippery and slick, and it actually makes it a little more difficult to do certain packet cuts and flourishes. So you kind of do need to break in almost all decks. I've heard in some reviews that the Rise playing cards, they don't need that much breaking in because they're just that perfect. But most decks, you do need some breaking in, and that's actually a, little, that's a fun thing to do is break in a deck of cards. Besides that, you'll see the other extra cards here. You saw this one on the front, Embodiment, and then when you turn it around, it says, Seeking for Light, Apollo. Now, when you print a deck of playing cards, you have 56 cards available. 52 cards are the clubs, spades, hearts, diamonds, one through 13 of those. That equals 52. And then you have four cards that you can really use for anything, right? So this is clearly one of the add cards. Put that down. And then when we go through our two other add cards, are the two jokers. I'll show you how they look like right here. They are pretty much exactly identical. So those are three ad cards. And then the cardboard piece that you saw at the beginning was our fourth ad card. And then you have all custom pips and court cards and symbols for hearts. Here's your heart symbol. And you can see the detail even underneath the heart, there's like these gray lines. They're very, very faint. I don't know how well they'll show up on camera, but it really stays current through the whole entire deck. So there's your Ace of Hearts arrow. And then let's show you guys the other ones. This is what your spade's gonna look like. Kind of like a broken down geometric design. Um, the court cards are very, very cool. Every single one of them has its own custom design. The designer for this really went in on the Greek mythology. Very, very cool stuff, depending on how you like your design. Now this deck's a little stiff right now because we just busted it open. So before we do some card street ASMR, if you guys haven't seen the video on how to break in a deck of cards, really, in a basic sense, it's very simple. You just want to do a ton of things that bend them and break them in. Those would be like springs. So like just spring them into your hand over and over and over again will help break them in, switching sides, springing them again, spreading them out, stuff like a waterfall, right? A lot of bridge shuffles, like really hard bridge shuffles, not light ones. Just over and over and over again. Get the cards used to handling. And what this does is it makes them stick together better. Don't get me wrong, they're still gonna fan great. It just makes them a little less slick, a little less stiff, so that when you break them down for packet cuts, those packets stay together better. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm loosening the jar for Grant. Let's say there's a jar we can't open, I'm loosening it. He's gonna be the one that actually pops it open and does some crazy stuff. Get some more springs in here. One of my favorite things to do is the one-handed shuffle to break in a deck. Those one-handed shuffles are actually a little bit more difficult when it's like the first time doing it with the deck because it's a different way to bow the cards, right? So it kind of bows them upwards, sideways, and out. It takes me a little bit to get the pharaoh and bend them back at the waterfall in. Really thrilling content here, breaking in a deck of cards. 
Um, and then pharaoh shuffles are also very important to kind of get the edges of the cards worn in. And then you can just do stuff and close it there. And then hopefully the goal of that would be that packet cuts feel a little bit better. You have a higher chance of success when performing them, right? And these, of course, just like any United States playing card company deck, handle very well, right? It's going to be really rare to find a deck of United States playing card company cards that do not handle well once they're broken in. The main difference you'll find is how long or how easy it is to break them in. Almost dropped them there. But for now, we'll hand the deck off to Grant, and I'll stop talking for once to do some cardistry ASMR. I honestly really love the red. It gives me like Darth Vader, actually more Darth Maul vibes, to be honest. I just watched the rest of Clone Wars season seven. Very much gives me the Darth Maul vibes, especially these court cards. But feel nice. They feel, they still feel fairly stiff. Like it's definitely a little bit heavier of a stock, but that's not a bad thing. Um, definitely needs more breaking in. Yeah. Fans looking good though. Give it nice. Let's see how some arm spreads go. Oh, that was bad. All right, guys, these are pretty sick cards indeed. You know that they go really, really fast, and I feel bad every time someone goes and comments on the old ASMR videos, like ASMR 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and they're like, where can I get the cards? And I'm like, do I reply that they're all gone? Anyway, if you're watching this right now, it is October 29th. These come out tomorrow, October 30th, at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So the Shield ones from this past Saturday already sold out. If you do want one of these cool decks that have like the cool box, they're pretty hard to get your hands on, that's when you're gonna wanna go get them is tomorrow at 11 a.m. Tell Siri, tell Alexa to remind you. If you wanna get a deck of these cards for yourself, there is a link, it's the first link in the description. That link's an affiliate link for us, so if you wanna help support our channel and you wanna purchase a deck of these cards, you can always just use that link and we'll get a little bit of a kickback from that. And we really appreciate it. If you want Rise playing cards, they're incredible. Those are also on our website, link in the description. But I promised you guys a giveaway. We're gonna have two ongoing giveaways at the same exact time. Last week, the giveaway is for a deck of Trident playing cards, and this week, we're gonna do it for the Sword deck. I'll grab one of our new ones that we have. Now, this deck is completely sold out. You're not gonna be able to get them anywhere unless it's off of eBay. This is your chance to win one of the Sword decks for free. All you need to do to win this deck of sword playing cards is one, like this video that you're watching right now. It's really easy, like this video. Two, subscribe to the channel. That's a given, guys. Please subscribe, we really appreciate it. And it, it's completely free. Three, I need you to go follow my Instagram account at the real Chandler Henry. And then after you're done those three things, come back to this video and comment down below your Instagram username. The reason we're doing it like that is because in three weeks when we select the winner from anywhere in the world, we're gonna use the website randomcommentselector.com. Hit random comment, it's gonna give me a random comment, you'll have your username, I'll check if you follow me, and if you do, you won the deck. We'll announce the winner in three weeks, and anyone in the world can win. We ship worldwide. So, it's very, very simple and easy to win a deck. So guys, that's the video for this week, just a little unboxing with Grant and myself. Shout out to Grant holding the camera like a champ. The camera works crazy back there. So. If you want the deck of, oh my gosh, so many decks on the floor, I'm not looking forward to cleaning this up so Hobbs doesn't eat them all. If you want the brand new Arrow deck, it's coming out tomorrow at 11 a.m. October 30th, Eastern Standard Time, Friday. If you want to win a sword deck, you know how to do it on this video, but on last Saturday's 
shield video. If you want to win a deck of Trident playing cards, you go watch that and do that giveaway. We got two giveaways going on simultaneously for these rare decks. I hope you guys love it. Hope you enjoy it. And we'll see you next week. Peace out.